I just want to take this opportunity and give thanks to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for another opportunity that he gave today, another divine appointment. Bright and early this morning, I was uh, praying, seeking the Lord, asking him if he would put somebody in my path, anybody, so that I could share his gospel, his name, his word, whatever. Use me, Lord, today for your glory and for your purpose, and he, and he did. And so on my way to work, uh, there was a man stopped on the highway, and he was just waving, flagging anybody down. He just needed to jump start. I helped him out. As I was helping him out, I could tell that he was addicted. Long story short, he's been addicted now, he says, for two years. He said he was clean for about seven, I believe he said. And then I guess he lost his wife or his girlfriend and it just, it tanked him. And he's back to doing what he was doing before. He's stuck. He feels like there's no hope. And I was just like, oh man, boy, is there hope. Boy, is there help for you in Jesus Christ. And I just told him, the blessing is, is that if God truly set you free before, he will be faithful to finish what he started. And I just asked him, look, man, like I was addicted. I was stuck and God set me free. I said from the age of 13 years old on to 21, but now I'm 12 years and almost seven months clean and free in Jesus Christ. And he's the only one that can do it. So Philippians 1, 6, Paul says, being confident of this very thing that he, which began a good work in you is faithful to finish it. So if God truly started a work in Vincent was his name, then I know that God will be faithful to finish the work that he started in Vincent. So got to pray with him, got to love on him, gave him a wristband about Jesus and denying himself, picking up his cross and following him. And um, it was just beautiful. And all I could think about, I was like, man, God, here you are again. I'm asking, would you put somebody in my path? Help me to share your gospel or your word with them. And he's faithful to deliver every time. It's God's will that nobody would perish he came that not one would perish, but that all would come to repentance. And we got to have that heart too. God doesn't want anybody to perish. We shouldn't want anybody to either. God wants heaven full and hell empty. And that's a fact. So I just give thanks to the Lord today. It was good. It's, it started off really good. It was all, overall, it was all a good day. I just wanted to give thanks. It's like another street testimony. So I'm going to call this highway preaching. Highway preaching. God, would you put somebody in my path? reality is, is are we willing when God does to pull over and give time for that opportunity to share Christ, to share the gospel and his word wherever we go, wherever we are. So I give thanks to the Lord. I want to share that with you all, my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. I pray that you are uh, provoked um, to love and to good works. That's what we're called to do uh, to one another. So God bless you. Highway preaching. Jesus is Lord. God bless.